during our circumambulations while we're reciting mantras, it would be better to contemplate on the Lamrim, contemplate on the teachings such as the three principal paths, or to contemplate on wheel of sharp weapons, or any of those teachings on training the mind, such as Lojong. The reason is because there are many visualizations we can do while we're circumambulating, but they're of the tantric nature. So it would be good that when we're doing circumambulations and we don't have initiation, even if we have initiation, to actually contemplate on the various teachings. I think one of the best teachings to contemplate on is the Wheel of Sharp Weapons, which talks about cause and effect and the reason certain results happen in our lives due to karma from previous actions. So therefore, it's very, very powerful to contemplate the Wheel of Sharp Weapons and to actually recite that once a week until it becomes a part of us. We may not be able to memorize it, but if we recite it one week, the spirit of it, the feeling of it, the, the meaning of it will kind of stick itself to us. So while we're doing circumambulations, it's very good to do Manjushri Mantra, Medicine Buddha Mantra, our Guru's Mantra, or Protected Dojushugna's Mantra, or our Personal Yidam's Mantra. Reciting the Vajrasattva Mantra is extremely effective also, and at the same time, even reciting the Sutra of the 35 Confessional Buddhas, if we have it memorized. doesn't matter in what language we recite it. But basically, to contemplate on those teachings while we're doing the recitations and circumambulations, and that would be very, very powerful. It's like the body, speech, and mind doing Dharma simultaneously. The body is doing circumambulations around a holy object, such as a stupa, or a temple, or a Buddha image. The speech is reciting mantras, and the mind is contemplating on Dharma subjects. So that would be very, very powerful to do simultaneously. I hope that helps. Thank you. Tamaramji.